Okay. So what's this thing going to look like? You know, um, we've obviously dialed in the flexibility and the functionality of it, but what we really want to be mindful of is that we're a good neighbor to the existing facility. So what we do as designers is we look at the existing facility, um, but we also look into uh, where we're going to be placing a building. This is Amarillo, Texas. It should speak to Amarillo. And so we look to the, the culture um, and we look at the context and we look at the history in the region in order to define our design inspiration. What you're looking at here is a couple historic native uh, textiles that we looked at. There's uh, geometric patterns and bold geometries represented in these historic fabrics. And uh, we found inspiration in them. Um, we also found some inspiration in the uh, nearby Palo Duro Canyon, uh, a very dynamic and exciting geologic uh, formation that really speaks to the region, um, both in its uh, the triangular geometries that you'll see, you see here in, in what are called the, the Spanish skirts, but also in the colors and the horizontality of the sedimentary uh, stones that are present and uh, really the look of the canyon. And so we wanted to capture uh, a design that was reflective of the region and of the people of Amarillo. Um, so if you look at these uh, rock formations here, you begin to see this um, very clear uh, diagonal pattern that's represented um, in, in, that, in that work. And it becomes this kind of triangulated ver vernacular with a strong horizontality running through it. And we've picked up on that and we've taken that and translated it into a design that we think uh, is very specific to the region. So this design takes a look at the structure of the building um, to pick up on those cues that we that we saw in the canyon, but also the horizontality and the colors, the stone, um, the warm colors and the light colors in the stone and that banding. Um, but we're also creating a space that's very specific to West Texas and Amarillo by providing shade on the south side so that we can activate the perimeter of the building um, for people at, at all times, whether there's an event or not. So people are able to use the steps, congregate in the plazas, get out of the elements um, by just simply uh, being near the, near the building. We've continued this look around to the west side and this will be the new uh, grand entry canopy. This aligns with sixth and forms a new front door and a new look uh, attached to the existing civic uh, building with a new plaza out in front here that you're looking at now. And just to the left of this image, you can actually see the existing facility. Um, and one of the key features that we wanted to make sure that we connected with in order to be a good neighbor and kind of eliminate that stigma between the old and the new was take the horizontality of that banding and extend it right on through the new building. And that band actually translates into these faceted balconies that will have views into the ball field uh, just to the south. As we continue around here, we'll, we'll highlight not only the plaza, but an exterior amphitheater that we've created. This, this amphitheater here is open to the public. It's just another uh, venue, uh, as Alex was describing, just another place for events to occur in an open air um, situation and uh, directly connected in that space between kind of what was and what will be. Um, just above this and shown in this diagram is a rooftop terrace uh, with concessions and the ability for private events to occur there um, and really activate the old center um, and give it new life and, and have it be um, connected to these environs um, just out on the west side. And as we move around back to um, the south side here, now you can begin to see how the complex comes together as a whole. It's like these two facilities are meant for one another, they're specific, they're contextual in the design, and we're building off what we have and creating something new. And also we're creating a new public plaza, which you can see here in the banding that's shown between the ballpark and the new arena. We see this as a whole new uh, 
venue really for the public where place where activities can be uh, had um, and really just activate kind of the, the whole uh, district really um, with a new uh, space. As you come out on the suite level from the auditorium, you'll be given the opportunity to stand on these terraces here. And you can see how they facet around that triangular structure. These will give uh, people in the arena building the opportunity to overlook the ballpark directly to the south. So you'll be able to occupy these spaces and almost just expand the entire uh, ballpark venue into the arena, so to speak. The other thing that um, I mentioned that I think we have a couple shots of right here would be that, that new public plaza between the two. And we're really just creating a whole new cultural district for Amarillo with this plaza. And you can see here, we're showing um, another live music event uh, in, in the outdoor plaza. We can activate this with food and, and all kinds of activities. And really, we think it speaks very well to, um, to the design. So that's really what I have. 